This is Packet Tracer 9.3.2.12 and it's configuring extended ACLs scenario 3. So here's your topology, the dressing, the dressing table, and your background scenario. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, step 1 says uh, deny PC1 to access HTTP and HTTPS services on server 1 and server 2. So it says create an extended IP access list named ACL which will deny PC1 access to the HTTP and HTTPS services on server 1 and server 2 because it's impossible to directly observe the subnet of the servers on the internet four rules are required and the first rule or the first question is what is the command to begin na the named ACL and it's IP access dash list extended ACL so to start off we're going to go to router 1 or to the only router I guess that's in there we're going to hit enter type en prompt t we're going to type in IP access dash list extended ACL hit enter alright and I'm just gonna make this CLI font a little bit bigger so it's easier to see okay so so far we just type in we entered configuration mode and we typed in IP access dash list extended ACL alright part B says record the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 1 only for HTTP port 80. So now we're going to type in deny TCP host 172.32.1.101 and then space host 64.255.254 or hold on, host 64.101.255.254 so just like that and then after that type EQ and then 80 okay so go ahead and hit enter and then we're moving on to the next part uh, letter C record the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 1 only HTTPS port 443 so now we're going to type in alright we're going to type in deny TCP host 172 31 or 32 1 101 and then host 64 101 254 and all you're gonna do is change the last number which is 80 to 443 so what I did was I just hit the up arrow and it brings me to my last command and then you can just change the 80 to 443 gonna hit enter all right uh, step D Record the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 2 only for HTTP. So now we're going to type in deny HTTP host 172.32.1.101 host 64, 103, 255, 254, EQ, 443. Alright, so I'm going to hit the up arrow and I'm going to change the 101. To 103, and then that should be it. So we'll go ahead and hit enter. There we go. Part E says record the statement that denies access from PC1 to server 2 only for HTTPS. Alright, so now we're gonna hit the up arrow and change the uh, port 80 to or port 43 to port 80. So change this to 80, hit enter, and I actually got these two mixed up. So this one would be your step E, and then this one would be your step B, right there. Okay, so I just did them backwards, but now we're going to move on to step 2. 
It says, uh, deny PC to access FTP services on server 1 and server 2. Record a statement that denies access from PC2 to the server 1 only for, HT for FTP for port 21. So now we're going to type in deny TCP host 172.31. Dot one dot one oh two and then space host sixty four dot one oh one dot two fifty five dot two fifty four EG twenty one enter that's a G it's supposed to be a Q all right, there we go. Okay, part B on step two says record a statement that denies access from PC2 to server two only for a FTP for port 21. So now we're gonna hit our up arrow and then we're gonna change the 101 to 103. So go up arrow and then you go to the left, you change your 101 to 103 and then you hit enter, there we go. All right. Step three says, deny PC3 to ping from server one and server two. Okay, so just like that. Now we're gonna hit our up arrow. And then for part I, record the statement that denies ICMB access from PC3 to server two. So we're going to do deny ICMB host 172.31.101. Going to change your 102 to 103. And then it's going to be host 64.103. So change that 101 to 103 again. And then 255.254, you hit enter. All right. Now we want to type in permit any permit IP any any okay and that was to permit all other IP traffic so now we're gonna exit from here and we're gonna apply the ACL to the correct interface and in the correct direction so we're gonna type in INTG 0 slash 0 enter and type in IP access dash group ACL in enter all right there we go so now it says test access for each PC and access the web website for server 1 and server 2 using the web browser of PC 1 and using both HTTP and if HTTPS protocols so we're gonna exit from here you go to PC 1 go to your web browser right here you're gonna type in the IP address of the server so we scroll up, server one, it's gonna be 